Hello everyone, it's time to play another Doom Snap Map. I've got a subscriber recommended map. This is Left Turns Are For Fools by Crazy Cup Muffin PC. Map description reads, a big original map, 20 plus hours creating it. It's hard and you'll have to use your brain at times for the challenge rooms. <laughs> That's not good for me. Alright, so uh, let's see this author here. M map info. Four ups, two downs, and two plays. That's interesting. I didn't know you could get a bunch of up and down votes uh, in excess of your number of plays. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, let's check out the author here. Oh, very nice uh, standard uh, armor, <laughs> default armor. Uh, actually, it kind of reminds me of a peppermint candy cane. And this is his only map, so... Alrighty, let's uh, dive in. Left turns are for fools, here we go. Alrighty. Um, heavy assault rifle, combat shotgun. Okay, checkpoint one, huh. And that is a blue door. Huh. Alright, well. Whoa! <laughs> Some guys just hanging out right here. And a Hell Knight. Oh, and the door locked behind me. That's just... Oh, wait. No. Force field. Have any grenades? No grenades. So I guess we're gonna have to do this little uh, dance here until one of us dies. And I crack his head like an egg. Okay. Wait, did that just open up? Oh. There's nothing back here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting background sounds. Unnecessary laser room ahead. Warning. Yellow lasers deadly. Oh my goodness. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> Warning. Work zone. Work zone. Work zone. Work zone. Work <laughs> zone. Look at all those signs. Uh, good sense of humor this map has. Okay, so... Goodness, I guess I'll try to get through this maze here. Oh. Oh. There's a red laser. I think I can just stand up here and jump. Yes, I made it. Oh, but I forgot to grab the green power core. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go back and get it. Alright, fine. Just great. Well, maybe there's something up here. Uh, I need that green power core. Who keeps leaving the flipping power cores in the laser room? Heck, why do we even have a laser room? Yeah, that's a good question. Can I... Oh, I can only have two weapons, on it. Uh, I guess I'll keep the combat shoddy. Why did I grab the haste? That was a poor choice. Let's see. Ooh, no! <laughs> uh, well, that actually might have helped me out, because now I can just go take a quick left turn and grab it. Okay, so... There we go. And... Oh! 
Oh no! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I got the green power core, so. There we go. I made it. <laughs> oh, but I lost my rocket launcher. Oh, doggone it. Whoa, what the heck? People are just shooting through the freaking thing. Oh, geez, there's a cacodemon. Okay, the lasers hurt the cacodemon. No, oh, bugger. Apparently not. I'm so glad there's no limit on the number of deaths so you can... Where'd the Kaka Demon go? Oop. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> I get... You really gotta take your time when it comes to the laser room. You can't just try to fly through it. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, nice. Well, I can let these guys try to run through and... Come on, Cacodemon. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. That was great. Uh, that was fantastic. Okay, so I didn't see that little yellow one there. Oh, hey, zombie. <laughs> Come get some. Yeah, yeah, closer. Nope. <laughs> oh, here comes another one. Come on, I'm r I'm right here waiting for you. <laughs> uh, that's grand. Okay. There we go. Made it through without a scratch. Can I get through here now? Okay, good. <clears throat> I even got some armor. Fantastic. Darn, I wish I wouldn't have given up that... Uh... Oh, more weapons. Okay. Ooh, the hell shot's really good. I might keep that one. I wish I could have more than two weapons. Speed is key in our workforce. Yeah, too bad I wasted the haste. What's up here? Locked. Oh, I see. Oh, it's unlocked now. Okay. Um, oh, that it locked up behind me. Ugh, oh, doggone it. Ugh. None of my weapons are really... good for taking these guys out. Wait, was there something up here? Oh, red key card. Okay, armor, armor. Okay, guys. I'm all for tight security, but this is just ridiculous. What is this? Uh, are these supposed to be like security gates? Uh, okay. Um, okay. This is another challenge, apparently. Uh, 
I don't know what's going on here. Am I supposed to go through all these? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> hey, checkpoint. And a shotgun that I already have. Die, Revenant. Done, son. What's down there? Ooh. Oh, pretty lights. Oh. Some health. And... Oh, wait. Oh, I think there's some secrety stuff down here. No, no, no! No! <laughs> uh, well, at least I got the checkpoint, right? No, what the... Okay, good. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's a tight, it's a very tight jump there. Ooh, and a blue key, two blue key cards. I'm not sure why I needed two of them, but, uh, maybe we'll find out. Can someone move the few boxes left over in the next room? Thanks. Sure, I'll help you out. Uh, looks like we need a red power cell. Or, sorry, power core, rather. Uh, oh, yep. Looks like I got some more parkouring to do. Don't worry, you can count on me. Huh. Whoa! Oh. Almost fell to my death again. Okay. Ah. Two red power cells. Three red power cells. My goodness. Alrighty, well, I'm ready to go. Whoa, what the gumball? Can someone move the door? Move the boxes, huh? How do I move them? Whoa! Oof. Oh my goodness. Oh no, lost souls. Ugh. Ugh, I hate lost souls. Oh no. Cacodemon. Ah, what's going on here? A caco demon flying through the sky so fancy free. No one ever saw the loneliness there inside you. Oh, ah, okay. Alrighty, what time? What's uh? It's kind of an odd situation. Uh. <laughs> What's up here? 
Maybe I should go ahead and grab that. Oh. Looks like we're gonna do some fighting. Remember, no left turns. Chamber is a test. Don't even peek seriously. Oh, I guess I can't go left then, huh? What does that do? What the heck is this? Someone trying to build a clubhouse or something? Mm, got a power core. This way, just forget that room. Oh, well I sure am tempted, but if you say so. Hmm, there's something up there apparently. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Oh, where am I? This place is really orange. Ah, whoa. Oh, geez. Is the floor supposed to be lava or something? Apparently. Oh, I got the yellow power core. Okay, that's what I needed for that door. And I got another yellow power core. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, now I get more stuff. Oh, we got company. Oh, man, give this. Happy birthday! Ugh, more Mancubus. Ooh, yeah, I'll just pop you from here if that's quite alright. Jeez, how many of these guys are there? Oh, they just keep coming and coming. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna skip ahead, guys. Nope. Oh, oh, God. Doggone it. There's like a million mancubus up here. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, checkpoint two. Hey. That's good to know about. Ugh. Oh, and I'm back to the original shotgun. This is not good. Okay. I'm curious what's in here. Oh, okay. No, oh, I got blown up. Nah. All right, maybe I can run past these guys. Checkpoint!
Oh boy, what's going on up here? Ugh, Baron. Ugh, I ran right into that one. Yeah, gotcha. Ah, another Baron. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing in here? Access denied. Lightning gun, very nice. Oh, here's the Mancubus parade. are showing up now. Ugh. I'm almost out of ammo. Yep, I got some more. Woo! Yeah! Gotcha. that and that and that and that so now I've got ammo again yay okay how many more guys I gotta fight <laughs> I'm ready to move on I've got to move on. Ooh, BFG. Survive for two minutes. I think I can achieve that. Especially with all the armor and haste. Oh. It's especially easy to survive when there's uh, nobody coming. No? Oh, there's some guys. I didn't even end up using half of those power cells I got. It's funny. Okay, this is probably the easiest survival uh, experience I've had to go through. It's hardly anybody coming. Look at all these weapons, my goodness. Well, 30 more seconds. Alright, my two minutes is up. Can I leave now? <laughs> okay. Hey, victory, and I became a Baron. Fantastic. Alrighty. So that was Left Turns Are For Fools. I'm going to go ahead and vote it up, because I thought it was pretty funny. I'm going to do single player... Puzzle and novelty there we go 
Oh, yeah, I got number three, apparently. <laughs> Probably because I died so many times. Alrighty. Left turns are for fools, indeed. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure uh, where that 20 plus hours went as far as this map's concerned. <laughs> Didn't look like a 20 plus hour project, but yeah, what do I know? So, that was pretty interesting. I'm going to go into uh, some of the things I liked and didn't like about it. Let's start off with the things I liked. Uh, first thing I liked is that this map was really funny. I, I think this map has a great sense of humor uh, as far as just leaving silly notes for you on the walls and things. And and uh, just like the, the laser room being completely ridiculous. And then, you know, once you cross it, you realize you need a green power core. And you turn around and realize you have to go back through the lasers to get the power core. Just so many funny things like that. That that really does sell this map for me. It's just all the <laughs> all, all all just the silly the silliness in it. This is the map map author I think had a great sense of humor, so I definitely appreciate the the comedy to it. Um, and then another thing I really liked was the laser room. Uh, I thought that was an awesome obstacle to get through. Uh, the red lasers hurting you and the yellow lasers being insta kill and it was so funny when i was just sitting on the other side of that laser room and watching guys come through especially that cacodemon that floated through and just exploded <laughs> like a like a like a i don't even know like a firecracker in a watermelon or something like that thing just pop boom <laughs> big chunks go flying that was amazing i love the laser room that was a fantastic obstacle another thing i thought was really funny was the uh uh the left turn of death that that area where i guess is where the map gets its namesake but there's that spot where it's like uh don't turn left don't turn left and then you know after the endless parade of mancubus started coming down the stairwell i'm like well screw it i might as well just see what's over there and of course you see all these weapons but then you walk over there and you just get blown up so another pretty funny thing uh and uh another thing i really enjoyed was the fact that there were checkpoints in this slide in this uh level which uh which I think was a really good idea um, because I can see how getting far in this level and then having to go back to the very beginning and going back to that laser room especially I, I, I think that would have gotten old very quickly so I think the author was uh, was definitely thinking ahead when they thought to uh, put in a checkpoint system I, I think that was definitely a good call and it was much appreciated uh, and speaking of that another thing I really enjoyed was the infinite respawn uh, which definitely not only did it come in handy because I died so often, you know, especially in like the laser rooms and the the parts where there's so many enemies, but it also makes some of the silly stuff a lot funner. Like the left turn of death, when you know, when you turn and you get blown up in that left room. Uh, that wouldn't have been as funny, I think, if, if you had a limited number of lives and it actually did score against you but the fact that you've got infinite respawn you can pull those kind of funny gags on players where you kill them in a stupid silly way because you know it doesn't nothing matters because you've got infinite respawn so i think that was definitely a, a very important component to doing a, a sort of a joke map like this where you're constantly punking and pranking players with you know silly obstacles and and you know <laughs> gag deaths and things like that but um, yeah, I definitely appreciate the infinite respawn. So those were some of the things I liked about the level. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a few things that I didn't like, and it was kind of hard to find things that I really didn't like because this level was so basic, which in and of itself could potentially be a thing people don't like. I mean, for me, it wasn't a big deal because I thought this map was hilarious. Uh, but if I could find some things to ding it on, uh, one thing would be the survival event at the end I basically just had two minutes where literally only a handful of really weak enemies came at me. I don't know if that was meant to be a joke, like, hey, it's a survival event where nothing really happens, ha ha ha. Uh, if that was meant to be a joke, I didn't really think it was that funny. <laughs> maybe the, 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 it, the delivery wasn't there, or maybe it wasn't meant to be a joke at all. Maybe it was just the author just sort of forgot to put anything in but it ends up just being really boring unfortunately so i think at best that joke fell kind of flat for me because it was just sort of me standing there wasting time 
at worst, it was just a very poorly executed survival event. Uh, in either case, I think it kind of missed the mark in that final room. Another thing I would ding the map for is it seems like there are a lot of cores that you have to go find and pick up that don't seem to get used in the level, or at least I didn't see a place to use them. But it's kind of a weird thing for me. I, I, I don't like it when maps give you things for no reason. I always assume that when I get a key card or a core or some kind of item like that, it's going to be giving me access to some other room or area or bonus feature or something in the map. I, I don't like how it seems like in this map you just pick up cores for no good reason just to pick them up and then you carry them through to the end of the map and you never get to use them. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. I, there could have been like some sort of secret stuff going on where there was a, a core station where I just didn't see it, and I could have used. If that's the case, you know that's my, that's all my bad. But it, it just seemed like there was a lot of picking up cores for no apparent reason. So uh, I didn't really like that. And lastly, that seems to be a really unbalanced distribution of weapons in this level. Like early on. There aren't very many good weapons, and because you die so often, you tend to lose the weapons that you get. Whereas, towards the very end, there are so many freaking weapons that you just can't possibly even use them all. You know, you even get like the BFG in that last area, and prior to that, you get Super Shotgun, you get uh, Rocket Launcher. So, I feel like this level was really unbalanced as far as when the author decided to give the player weapons and you know what type of weapons and how many it seemed like the the times where you really needed those weapons the most was in the beginning and you're not allowed to keep your weapons upon respawn so as you die you're constantly losing the weapons you're picking up whereas later on in the level where things kind of get a little bit easier you get so many weapons that you don't even get to utilize them properly so i feel like that was a little unbalanced i mean again though unless that was meant to be a joke well, in which case, it wasn't really that funny, but uh, I would just sort of count it as a flaw that, that the, the weapon availability was sort of unbalanced. So, that's about it. That's as far as I have for uh, positives and negatives. Now it's time for some favorite and the least favorite. My favorite thing about this level, aside from just the overall uh, comedy of it, which it was pretty funny, I'm going to go with the laser room <laughs> I know the laser room was awesome uh, I, I loved how I was actually pretty decent at it too I mean I did die a few times but I felt like I found a pretty good path through there and but the laser room was awesome I, I loved how they were just the author had the red lasers and the yellow lasers that dynamic of you know the lasers that just hurt you versus the lasers that are instant death caused you to uh, kind of be a little strategic going through that room and then of course the the big joke at the end of it where once you get through the laser room you realize that you passed up a core and you have to go back and get it uh that was hilarious plus you know uh having the enemies go through and getting killed by the lasers as well that was equally hilarious especially seeing that cacodemon blow up that was just fantastic so for that reason i have to say my favorite thing was the laser room my least favorite thing, honestly, my least favorite thing about this level has to be the survival event at the end. That seemed to be, that seemed to me to be just two minutes of wasting my time. And if it was meant to be a joke, it wasn't very funny. I'm thinking it wasn't meant to be a joke, in which case it was kind of uh, um, a waste of time. And yeah I, I didn't really enjoy just sort of stand i mean it was okay i got to like you know take my headset off and take a drink and you know do some whistling or something but you know i i would have liked to have had either there pot potentially be like make a joke out of it where like maybe the music rises and a door opens and it's like one single guy <laughs> or you know either the author uh could have decided to make a big joke out of it in which case that would have been hilarious or uh, actually have a real survival event in which case it would have given me something to do so that's that that was left turns are for fools by crazy cup muffin pc i enjoyed it i thought it was pretty interesting pretty funny and it is 
two player so you can uh, invite a buddy to play it with you. So I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you have a map you'd like to recommend for me to play, please leave it in the comments below with a map ID. And just one more thing to note, uh, it does take some amount of time to actually play and review and upload these maps and edit, of course. So if you're going to recommend a map to me or, or anybody else, I, I think a common courtesy would be to, you know, once they publish their video, just leave a comment saying, hey, thanks for reviewing my map. Even if you don't agree with the way the review went or whatever, you know, it, it does take time on behalf of the person uploading the video. So at a minimum, you should comment and thank them for their time, even if you don't like anything else about the video. That's about all. Until next time, peace out.